friends, let's see today's delicious veg cold fingers. It's super simple to prepare. So now in a bowl, I've taken four medium sized potatoes, boiled them, peeled them and grated them. Now I'm going to add half a cup of grated carrots, half a cup of very finely chopped capsicum, half a cup of shredded cabbage, half a cup of finely chopped coriander. Now mix all of this well together. Now we're going to add some salt to taste. Don't add too much salt because we're also going to add the shazwan sauce or shazwan chutney which also has salt. So two tablespoons of shazwan chutney or shazwan sauce, whatever you have at hand. Next goes in two tablespoons of corn flour, which is a binding agent. And now we're going to mix all of this really well together. You can get your hands in there and just see that everything is really well mixed. Now I've taken about four slices of bread and I've cut them into in the middle like this twice. So I get, you know, these long fingers. Then I've taken two tablespoons of corn flour to which I've added about two tablespoons of water. And we're going to make this slurry. And this is some roasted sesame seeds or roasted peel. Just dry roast them about half a cup. Now I'm just going to put this filling on top of the slices like this. Don't overfill it or do underfill it. About half an inch and then press it down with a spoon. Now because of the corn flour, everything really sticks well together. So do all of this with whatever slices you have or whatever filling you have. And once all of them are done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the uh, tear or the roasted sesame seeds onto a plate. And now I'm just going to uh, brush these fingers with the slurry of corn flour and water that we made. And then I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on the top. And then just press the sesame seeds down. Now because we've roasted them, they don't, you know, easily come out. If they were not roasted, then they would be all over the place and they don't even stick very well. So do roast the sesame seeds. I'm using the white sesame seeds. You could use even the brown ones, whatever you have at hand. And sprinkle a generous amount and then just press it down. The sesame, give, the sesame seeds or the teal give a very nice flavor to this fing gold fingers and they also uh, give a nice kind of a crunch. And now I've taken a little bit of oil in a pan and I put the bread side down first. Don't put the filling side down first. And fry them for about half a minute till the base becomes nice and golden brown on a low to medium flame. And then with the help of two uh, forks, so you can use a tong, just turn it over once the base is golden brown like this. Now you could deep fry this but I don't like deep frying this. I prefer shallow frying it because everything is actually already cooked in the filling. All we need to do is just give it a nice kind of a crunch. So in this way fry all the gold fingers and once they're done uh, you can just uh, drain the excess oil onto a kitchen towel and you can serve this with some ketchup or some shazwan chutney. Now, if you want to get the gold coin, which is, you know, uh, something which is served in restaurants and all, all you have to do is take a bread slice and cut it, in, you know, into a circle, big circle shape in the center which using a vati or if you have a cookie cutter and then do the same thing. But I didn't want to waste the bread slices, so I went with this gold fingers. So I hope you like today's recipe and I hope you give it a try. Do let me know in the comment section as to, uh, you know, how you liked it. And of course, you can fry only how much ever you want and you can store the rest in your refrigerator in an airtight container and fry it whenever you want. So I'll catch you in my next video. Take care, guys. This is Akshata signing off. Bye.